So last day in the tri-state area, actually just checked out of the hotel, driving down to uh, Amboy, Perth Amboy to check out a couple places to eat and just go down memory lane and show Joni and C's kind of some of my like childhood memories and stuff. So we're about to hit the Lincoln Tunnel and we'll be there in a minute. When I was growing up as a kid, this place used to be a Ponte's Hardware. Ponte's Hardware was the first um, Little League baseball team I played for. And next to it used to be a furniture store then turned into a Bail Bonds and I worked at that Bail Bonds. It was, all, it was called All About the Bail Bonds. All About the Bail Bonds? Yeah, because when you looked at it in the, in the directory when you were locked up, because it started with AA, it was the first one. So... And then, when I come up over here, this is, uh, this church right here, I got stuck in a little bit of traffic, but, yeah, it's cool, take your time, no rush. So when I, when I was a kid, this church right here, my mom used to send me here and she would give me a roll of quarters to donate. But what I would do is there's a Jamaican spot right here that had a Street Fighter game and I wouldn't even really go. Fatima, I was baptized here. And then this school right here, um, well, they changed it a lot. This used to be, this used to be a total different layout. This used to be number one school. This is where I got my, like, school don't look nothing like when I went. But this is where I had my first fight. This is where I knocked, this is the first time I knocked somebody's teeth out, too. I could have, I was probably. You keep all your teeth? Fourth grade. I haven't lost any teeth. Right here, this, <laughs> I still have all my baby teeth. This right here is like, man, poncho sneaker. So this guy used to be Cuban building. I, I remember this guy used to have. He used to sell sneakers out of the Cuban, we called them the Cuban buildings, in his so closet. Some... And, uh, well, it's a bus stop, so, dang, but this was the spot oh, back in that. the day. look at that. says, we have layaway. Yeah. Pancho. And the Jamaican spot is right there. You eat Jamaican food? Nah, but I played the Street Fighter. I played the hell out of that Street Fighter game. Dunkin' Donuts I do. So on the next block is 315 Smith Street. And I used to live in this, like right above this bakery that I believe is closed down now. Or they switched it up. Yup, right here where these windows are. There's the door, that white door is 315 Smith. And I lived there, like me, my mom, my sister, my stepdad, and it was like six, 700 square feet. That used to be Booger Hut. Right there where it says Botanica. Can you see it? No. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, so that used to be Booger Hut. And the reason they called it Booger Hut was because the guy. Was it a pizza hut? No, it was a burger joint. But the guy used to pick his nose. It was a burger hot dog joint. He used to pick his nose all the time and make the food. That's gross. I'm telling you, over 30 years. And people still eat that? Yeah. This is this is downtown. He's like, let's drive 50 feet and here's downtown. On this next block is the first sneaker store that we ever bought shoes from. Coming up. It's called Sneaker Ferry. It'll be on our left. They're not open right now, but hopefully we'll catch them later today. So this building right here on the left, this Chase, used to be a Woolworth back in the day. And in the early 80s, there was this cop out here, his name was Fuller. He shot a Mexican right here. Caused riots, right? Caused riots, and this is Five Corners. So he got away with it? He got away with it, yeah. Well, that's why they rioted. Yeah. Because he got away with it. This is, uh, I wanna say it's McGinnis. I went here too. 
Okay. On the right. You remember, Joni? There was oh, like yeah. two this feet is of where, snow. This is where we got stuck. We went to that, what was it? Is there a Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, there's a Dunkin' Donuts yeah, around we the corner. Dunkin' so. Donuts, but he parked here and then we couldn't There's get two out. Two feet of snow, so there was snow <laughs> all the way up to the windows. Of that, and it of snowed that even Lexus more right while we were in there. This is McGinnis School. I went here for a really short time, like maybe three, four months. What grade? Like seventh, eighth grade. There's a lot of schools here for it being a small town, yeah. So right now I'm gonna take you guys down the down uh, to the waterfront. Let you check that out. First house I ever lived at was down this way. I've heard they redid the whole waterfront. When I was a kid, it was super hood. But Perth Amboy used to be the capital of New Jersey. What's the capital now, Jay? Trenton. When did they change that? Uh, way before I was born. When I was a kid, we used to come down here and just play in the park, basically. So a lot of these houses uh, are hundreds of years old. They don't look it this way, but I'll take you to another spot. What street are we on? Are we on Patterson? Madison. If we are on Patterson? Lewis. Lewis. I gotta find Patterson. My aunt used to have a house on Patterson. This is the infamous waterfront. What's there to do at the waterfront? Not. Not nothing. My dad used to come down here and try to fish. Are there any fish? <laughs> no. Not really. Not anything to brag about. This is new. I mean, when, when I say this is new, this is new to me. Like, I haven't been in Amboy and really ran around in, in a really, really long time. See, they closed all this up. But this is the waterfront. They closed all this up. This is completely different. Back in the day, you'd be able to drive through all this. Jay wasn't even able really to show me, like, the first time it came out. Because it was snowed was, out. Yeah. This was the park you came to back in the day. Like, I would walk from Dunlap and Delaney all the way over here. I would walk from Inslee Street, which, if you're from Amboy or know the area, you know that that's like damn near Woodbridge. It's a tennis court. Yeah, but it was basketball court back in the day. Unless the basketball court, unless I'm like missing it, but that was a basketball court back in the day. This is new, the Veterans Memorial. This is all new. I don't even know what they're building here. It's good to see them putting money into the city. Um, Joni, you know I'm not one much to talk politics. I'm not a fan of it. Um, but there used to be a mayor here who's in jail. His name is Mayor Voss, Joseph Voss. Uh, it's in jail for him. He was stealing money from the city. He was, I mean, obviously some of his morals weren't the best. His moral compass wasn't there. But I had, I had good interactions with him as a kid. He came to my dad's like, like housewarming. Everybody knew my dad out here. Look at these houses. Some of these houses are like 500 years old. This is where if you got money, this is where you stay. One time that by sneaker ferry, I had just got, so I had a car, got in an accident, paid the deductible to get it fixed, got hit again, and didn't have the money to get it fixed the second time. Got in an accident again, didn't have the money to fix it the second time. And so I winded up selling the car all, all beat up. And um, for how much? I think for like 2,000 bucks or something like that. I wind up selling the car. I buy, I buy two bicycles. No, I, I sold it for four grand, I'm tripping. I bought two bicycles. I paid $1,000 each for the bicycles. I went and got tatted. And then I would drive this is where I got my first goose down. My mother put it on layaway right here at this warehouse out there. <laughs> I was like six. Um, but back to the 
bicycle story. I get tatted. I'm riding my bicycle down the sidewalk, and you're not supposed to ride your bike in, in Amboy on the sidewalk. So that I, this cop stops me. He's like, "Yo, what's your name?" I give him my name, and I happen to have tickets that I did. I, my priorities were not in order when I was a kid. I was a really aggressive driver. I caught a bunch of speeding tickets, and a lot of them turned into warrants that I winded up, that I winded up, like having to go to jail for. Right. So he pulls me over. He's like, "What's your name?" I give him my name, and he's like, "Yeah, you got a warrant. I'm gonna have to take you in." He impounded my bicycle because my bicycle didn't have a registration. I was like. 18, 19 years old, I think at the time. The registration cost 35 cents. And I think I did, it was like a $200 ticket. I think I did like six days in jail for a $200 ticket out here. And I had to pay $50 to get the bike out of the pound. So I did basically time served and I, be I begged my dad to get my bike out of thing and he like, he wanted to kill me over 50 bucks. But it should have only cost you 35 cents to start. Right. But I didn't know you had to register it. They didn't tell me that when I bought the bike. I guess they just assumed. And this is the infamous Five Corners. But when I was a kid, like, I want to say, like 13, 14 years old, we moved to Edison. My mom got remarried and my dad moved to Hall Ave. Now, at that time, I, they changed the name of the street. But back in the day, Hall Ave was one of, if not the worst street in Amboy. A lot of times, cops wouldn't even come up the street. They changed it to Puerto Rican Ave, right? Because this was like a lot of Latin Kings, uh, a lot of La Sangres, Bloods. And there was just, this was crime, like crime wave capital of Amboy. Um, and we lived right smack in the middle of it. My dad was cool with, with everyone. Like he never got in any trouble. He got along with everybody. Got robbed once right in that corner over there. They, dad my dad, did. he got beat. He got beat down pretty bad one time. But um, even though there was all this crime and all that going on, like I was enamored with this street back in the day. They've cleaned it up a lot. It doesn't look like what it used to back in the day but my favorite chinese spot in amboy is on this street and i'm praying that it's still here but we lived um one more block up if the building's still here we used to live right here right here here yeah and then Cortland. We also lived on Cortland. So my mom kicked me out once, right? And I moved in with my dad. And my dad used to, these all used to have, these all used to be houses, but they tore this down. And now it's a school. The Chinese restaurant's over there, but it's closed. So this wasn't here. This was all houses, this whole street. And we would get into arguments, me and my pops, my dad was a heavy drinker and he would kick me out. Like we would get into fist fights and I'm like 15, 16. We would get into fist fights and he would kick me out or lock me out and I would have to sleep outside. Like the house was like where this window is and then like two doors down was the homie Joel who's been to the shop. I flew him out. You guys remember Joel, right? Mm -hmm. Joel would, like his parents would feed me from time to time. And they wouldn't take me in because, you know, like, they didn't have any room. So what I would do is, like, I would be all up and down Hall Ave, but when it came time to sleep, I would come down here. And there's benches. There used to be benches over here. And I would sleep right there. And that used to happen a lot when I was a kid. And then during the summer, they used to have these basketball leagues here that was only for kids that were in school. And I was, by this time, I'm like 17, 18, so I'm not even in school anymore. But I would tell them, yeah, I'm 16, I go to this school just so I could be able to go, just so I could eat.
because I didn't have, I, like, I was on the street, basically, at that point. You know, I had given my mom a really hard time, and we just weren't on the same page. And I just was very anti-parenting or being around my parents, like, and my dad was just caught up drinking. But this street was like, this street was crazy back in the day. There was just people on the corners drinking, selling dope, you know. This is the Chinese restaurant that I, I'm hoping opens by noon so we could come back and eat. Then we used to come down here. I was at another school over here. And I remember my grandmother taking me to this school back in the day. It's coming up on the right. I think they redid this school too. But we would play bingo there when I was a kid. And this used to be a school. This is like one of my earlier childhood memories is, is down here. We lived on this house, this house right here. I brought you down here before, Joni. Mm -hmm. Right here, 717. Uh, so when I was a kid, I didn't see my dad till I was 10 years old. So at 10, at that house over there, my dad would come over. My dad would come over and he'd bring me Hot Wheel cars. And if I had the same car, I'd make him go back and get me another one. And scratch-off tickets. I was big on scratch-off tickets back then, even though I, as a kid, you shouldn't be doing scratch-off tickets. But this was it. This was like, and we would come out here, and we would play, like, we'd come all the way down here, and we'd play wiffle ball right here. We'd play wiffle ball right there. And then on this other side, my grandmother would take me I loved kicking it with my grandmother, right? She was like the only one that like had the patience to deal with my antics. And she never yelled or spazzed on me. But there's a bingo hall here and I used to come with her all the all the time to this bingo hall. Do you guys remember the story I told you about like when the time that I was in detention and the kid like jumped out the window because he didn't want to be in detention. That school's up here too. So this was the bingo hall. Now it's part of the high school. Mom's best friend used to live right here. That accident I got in in the car where that first accident was right here. I was coming down the street the other way and a car just shot and smacked me. Perth Amboy High School is right over there. I didn't go to Amboy High School because I had gotten too much trouble in schools in Amboy, so I had to go to Edison. I was a real knucklehead when I was a kid, but it was this environment. Like, this environment made me, like, aggressive. This environment forced me to find my way, and the whole time, it was like my way or no way. It was just a different era. It was just a different way of living, like. Then this is Amboy Ave. I lived on Amboy Ave for a while. And keep in mind, all this that I've shown you, this is like half of Amboy. This is like half of it. And I used to walk all of Amboy when I was a kid, every day. Wild seeing it again, man. You know, I my heart's always been here. Like I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'm, I'm glad to be able to say, like, yo, I made it out of this. You know, but to to those of y'all that are here, man, like, there's more to the world than Amboy, man. Find a way out. Find a way out, and like, go out there and get it.
don't just get stuck in your ways and think that this is the only way of life. Because there's a lot more to the world than Amboy. Not that there's anything wrong with that boy, but man, like if, like the mentality, the mind frame you have to, that you have here, like the struggle that's here, like it's a different, like when you're able to get a chance, like it's just different. Cemetery and boy, hi, they redid the, they redid the football field. I'm gonna cut down here. One time I got in a fight from Shell School all the way to Inslee Street, right? And the fight started, there was a kid that lived like four or five blocks, from, like four or five houses down from me on Inslee Street. And in between the cemetery and the football field used to be a hallway. And we used a walkway, yup, right here. Pointed to this thing right here on the right. So, that walkway is scary to walk at night, one. But two, I got in a fight from halfway right there with this kid that lived four, four houses down from me. And we fought, no bullshit, like, I think it's three and a half miles to Ensley Street from here. Fighting the whole way through. We would take breaks here, here and there, but we fought the whole way. I don't even remember what we fought about. We would cut through there and then we would go this way. We fought all through this. There's like a bridge over, which if you're from Amboy, you know what bridge I'm talking about. Right here, we would come this way. I can't drive that way, but here's the bridge. We fought all up the bridge, all the way down. Man, by the time we got home, I was fucking exhausted. Then, a couple lights to the right of us is going to be the outer bridge crossing. So Perth Amboy is the last exit before New York in Jersey. This is Dunlap. I want to say this is Dunlap. We used to live there. And behind this, so this was a really bad area too. My first girlfriend lived here. We didn't kiss or nothing like that, Joni, I promise. It was really like weird as kids. This used to be a basketball court, none of this was here. But across, across the way from this, like on the back side of this is Delaney, which they tore down. So I lived in Delaney too and Delaney's the first time I ever saw a shootout. Like, in front of me, kind of thing. And then we lived all through here. And then this was Inslee Street. So see, look at all process, everything we just drove. And I'm telling you, at one point I used to live on this street, Inslee, right? Which is where I'm about to make this right. And I would walk to the waterfront and back. This is where I learned how to play like football. This is where I learned how to play baseball. It's like all of it. Yup, we lived right here. This, uh, we lived 4, 445 and it was the first one on the left, the bottom left. Shit's crazy, seeing it. And the kid that I, so then picture from that hallway, right? Process like going over the bridge and fighting all the way till you get to your door. And the kid that I fought, he lived in this house right here, 427. We were both bloody as hell. And the kids that instigated it lived right here. They were from Linden and they moved to this house. And then there was another basketball court you remember the Raymond Lugo story that I that I told you guys? Raymond, the kid with the bread fours? The first pair of bread fours? It's on my it's on my Instagram. He lived up the way he died. But then we would come down here. 
And this is where we would play basketball. So basically, when I was a kid, all I did was run around and go to basketball courts. That was like the only way to stay out of trouble was just being on the court. And what I would do, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I would, I would, when I would first get on a court, I would do all right. Right? Like I'd win, this and that. People weren't used to seeing left-handers. Once people figured out my shot or would block my hook shot, I just, I went to another basketball court. Because I fucking hated losing. But with this, like, this is where I learned, this is where the whole shooting from behind, you've seen me shoot from behind the rim and like outside, through, this is where all that shit started. Throwing, I used to th try half court, like I would sit here all day, like, like by myself a lot of times, just throwing from half court. It's crazy seeing it. And then I used to play a lot. This, I forget this kid's name, but he, I think he still lives there. But I'm not gonna be the awkward guy that goes, yo, I haven't seen you in 30 years. What's good, bro? This is 45? Um, no, that is 75, actually. Yeah. Is this the us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 